you see the red light. Hello, welcome to Carol's Stories. The story I'm going to tell you today is a Christmas story and it's called Where is the Baby Jesus? It was one week before Christmas. Spicy smells of Christmas cake mingled with the smell of German Christmas biscuits shaped into angels, stars and shoes permeated the house and added to the heavy scent of pine and holly and ivy intertwined in natural garlands which decorated the reception area of the house. Spicy cranberry coloured candles stood tall amid beautifully crafted Christmas wreaths and arrangements, waiting for the magical time of lighting Christmas Eve. Either side of the brick fireplace Next to the freshly polished horse brasses hung two bright red felt stockings with the names of two children embroidered across the top. Brightly coloured parcels were slowly mounting to appear, starting to appear under the Christmas tree, heavily decorated with memories of Christmases past. The tiny child stood and gazed slowly around her her big dark eyes taking in the sights and the smells. Small hands were clasped in front of her and her whole body tingled with delight. In spite of all the magic being created around her, she felt that something was missing. Something was not quite right. What was it that her Sunday school teacher had said? Christmas was the birthday of the baby Jesus. But, 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 where was the baby Jesus? What would you like for Christmas, Sam? asked her big sister, Diana. I like, I like a baby Jesus, said the child with a rush, her words almost tripping over one another in their eagerness to get out. But the baby Jesus lived a long time ago, explained Diana in all the wisdom of her nine years. Gently, she stroked the chubby cheek of the three-year-old. But I wants him, replied Sam. I wants baby Jesus. That's all I wants for Christmas. Diana looked over to where her mother sat painting Christmas angels to give to the many cousins and friends who visited over the Christmas season and raised her right eyebrow. Her mother in turn looked over her glasses at her husband who sat reading his paper. The unspoken question hung between them. How could this Christmas wish be granted, especially at such a late date? There was only one week to go until Christmas Day. Then Alan hit upon an idea. There's a Christmas craft fair on at Ascot Racecourse this weekend, he said slowly. We might, just might, be able to get, find a baby Jesus there. Perhaps a hand-carved wooden one. I notice Christmas cribs are becoming more popular now. Clad in a little red coat, white mittens and a white fluffy bonnet, Sam set off with her parents to look for the baby Jesus at the craft fair. The seasonally decorated stalls looked very tempting and the Christmas music played in the background. Jingle bells, jingle bells, sang Sam. Not now, darling, remonstrated her mother. We have to look for the baby Jesus. Can you see him on any of the stalls? Together they looked and they looked. They found wonderfully carved wooden fruits, clocks and bowls, and watched a wood turner ply his craft. They admired the beautiful crochet and bobbin lace and embroidery and watched in fascination as a candle was carved, but nowhere, absolutely nowhere, was there a Christmas crib with a baby Jesus. After much searching and asking, the trio decided to give up and head for home. At the gate of the race course, they met a rotund little man in a black jacket, pinstripe trousers and a bowler hat. Seeing the pretty child walking between her parents, he greeted them and then bent down to speak to the child. Did you find?
find what you were looking for, my dear? He asked gently. <gasps> no, the child replied solemnly. We's looked and we's looked and we's looked everywhere, but we couldn't find the baby Jesus anywhere. And, and it's his birthday soon. The old gentleman produced a rather large hanky and blew his nose very hard as a tear glistened in his eye. Well, my dear, he said, raising her tiny hand to his lips in a true courtly fashion, I hope you do find him and that you have a very happy Christmas indeed. Isn't that all right? <laughs>